People stay interrupting my videos. <clears throat> Anyways, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing a story time. So this story time is the time that I met Russ. It's not what you think. A week before the concert, I was trying to get tickets, right? So I was actually broke. I didn't have no money. I, didn't, I couldn't buy tickets, but I was still trying to see if the tickets were cheap enough where I can ask my mom or my dad or somebody, whoever, to get the tickets because I'm thinking, okay, it's probably not going to be that expensive, but this was, I was still fresh to go into concerts, so I didn't really know how everything worked and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to say this was about four or five years ago. So, my best friend was in, t in town. It's his first time in LA. I'm super excited. He's never, like, I hadn't seen him in, in like two or three years. So I was super excited for him to even be here. And <clears throat> I was showing him around LA and all these things. And I see that Russ is gonna be here in LA. And I'm just like, oh my God, we need to go. Fast forward to the day of. I'm telling my friend, I'm like, hey, we don't have to go if you don't want to, but I really, really, really would appreciate if we tried to get there. So he said, fine, let's do it. So he was down with it. We got there around, I'm gonna say it was like three o'clock, three or four. And when we got there, there was a huge line. Mind you, now that I've been to different concerts and I know that that's how it goes, that was normal. To, to me now, it's normal. Back then, I was like, what the heck is going on, right? Whatever. There was a huge line, and I'm thinking, I was like, can we sneak in or like, let's try to figure this out. We had the whole day to figure out how we were gonna get into this concert. We were waiting around, we were, we were looking around to see his potential exit, where there was openings where we can get in. That we were, we were searching, we were scoping out the area, okay? After about two hours of searching, we got hungry, went to the CVS that was around the corner. There was no like food there, so, sur not surprisingly, but we decided to walk to, to Burger King. We went to Burger King, and that same day that Russell's concerting was was performing. Um, Charlie Puth was also performing, but at the Staples Center. So we made our way to the Staples Center after Burger King. We went to the Staples Center and we were scoping out the area, but I was like, absolutely not. We're not going to be able to get into the Staples Center. I'd rather not risk it and just go with our first plan, which was to see Russ. So after that, <clears throat> we went back to the other, um, it's not an arena. It was like a venue. So we went back to the venue and people were starting to go in so at this time we're still walking around still the sun is setting I came up with this amazing plan to tell everybody that our tickets got lost and that our tickets we left our tickets on the bus and I lost my wallet that was the plan so we just we went around the whole arena, or sorry, the whole venue, and we were telling all the security people. We were like, "Hey, like, what do we do? Like, we lost our tickets on the bus, and like, we really wanted to get in, like, this and then the third. And they didn't give a crap. They were looking at us like the the first woman that we spoke to. She was like, "Oh my God, I'm so sorry." And I was like, "So how do we get in?" She's like with your ticket and I was like but we left it on the bus and she was like there's nothing that we can do I was like but I was still determined I was still determined because I really wanted to get into this concert and that was that we moved on we went to the other side of the of the venue we found another security person so we go to him and we're like hey 
um, we lost our ticket, right? Um, what do we do? And we're just talking to him like we're friends. Like, we know each other for a long time. And we're about to get into this concert. I feel it. I feel it. We're, we're like, like, oh, my God. It's the time. The time is now. We're about to get into this venue. I can feel it. So, after we pour out our life to him, after we became best friends with this guy, he says, I can't let you in. Charlie, are you kidding me? Lucas, are you kidding me? We just, Austin, I don't remember his name. We just told you our whole story. It was a lie, but we just told you it. And you just, you were our friend. And you just didn't let us in, are you joking? Fine. The time passes, we go to the front of the, of the venue again. And I hear Russ singing. I am like, oh. I'm just outside having a concert of my own at this point singing outside by myself my friends looking at me like I'm crazy now the concert is over everyone's coming out and I'm looking at everybody and I'm like how was it and they're like it was so good I'm like you know what I don't want to hear it I don't want to hear it but I kind of did all right well now we just have to stay out here until he comes out but now we were trying to figure out where he was gonna get out from. So to be honest, it was just, it was a hit or miss. It was a hit or miss. Earlier that day, when we were casing the area, there was a security guard around there and we were like, oh, it sound, cause he was, when he was doing a sound check, we could hear it from that side. So we were asking the security, we were like, oh my God, it sounds so clear. And he was telling us that that was the, the door to the stage so um we knew that that was the door to the stage the exit door from the stage area so that was one area that he could potentially be coming out through and it was also a parking lot and we saw some cars parked there were some nice fancy cars we decided to go with the the area where the most fans were standing and also the area where we thought he was gonna come out through which was the con the 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 parking lot slash stage exit so we stood there and we stood there for like an hour and a half mind you it was already midnight so it's already midnight we're still trying to figure out where this guy is. Everybody, there was still people that were coming out of the venue. And we kept asking him, was there still a lot of people left? Was there still a lot of people left? Somebody, um, the last person that told uh, that we asked that came out of the, the venue, she was like, oh yeah, there's probably about 20 people left. So we kept counting down and we're like, okay, there's still 20 people left. There's, um, there's not now 10 people left. There's five people left. And the security that was there, he was like, oh, you guys can go. You guys can go and we're like what do you mean we can go and he's like yeah he already left he been left but something in me sensed the liar in him and i said you're lying because there's still people first of all there were still people coming out of the venue and it could have been that he left and those were just the remaining people that remaining people that were just leaving from meeting him that could be but he said that he had been left and that's a lie sir that's a lie so we were like, um, some of the people that were waiting believed him and left. And I was like, you ain't gonna catch me. I know how this goes. Meanwhile, I didn't really know how this goes. I was just winging it. But I was determined to see Russ because I didn't come all the way over here. I didn't spend my whole day here to not see him, right? Right. So fast forward. I'm trying I'm almost giving up my friend is telling me like let's go I'm tired I'm like I know I'm tired too let's just get out of here and we were gonna leave I was looking up the bus um, the buses the bus schedule to see when the bus was getting here 
and the bus said it was coming in I think it was like 45 30 to 45 minutes and usually around that time the bus does take that long it was around 1 a.m. so um, I was like okay well we have this much time the bus stop is on the other side of where we were standing it wasn't that far of a walk so I told him I said let's just wait here until it's like 15 minutes left for the bus and then we'll just go I was like all right fine as I'm doing looking at the bus I hear somebody screaming and I'm just like I look over there and I see Russ coming down the little stairs when I saw him I said oh my gosh there he is oh my god first of all he's really short He's so short. He's taller than me, but he's short. And but I didn't care. Oh my god! And did he smell good? He smelled so good. And he gave everybody that was because I was in the front of the little barricade. He gave me a hug, and I was just like, I was in heaven. And he signed my phone case. <laughs> I was in heaven. I was in heaven. I was so... I did it. I met Russ. I met Russ and I didn't even have to pay for his concert. I was just in awe to be in the presence of my husband that he doesn't know that I'm his wife and I have other husbands that they don't know um, that I'm their wife and I, let's change the subject. That night was so, like, it was amazing because I put myself in the situation where I was like, okay, I'm gonna see Russ and I actually saw him and I didn't even have to pay for the tickets or anything like that. Yeah, we spent our whole day there and yeah, it was sunny and it was muggy and it was a long, long, long wait. We got there like around 3 and we ended up getting home like around 2 in the morning. But it was just so much fun. Like, I, I don't even know how to describe it. And I appreciate my best friend friend for coming with me you're a real one i don't think anybody else would have done that with me and for you to do that and spend your time with me in this situation i love you and you should come back here i promise i won't take you to let me not promise because who knows who else is going to be here when you get here but come back and i probably won't make you go through that again not promising but probably okay but yeah guys um thank you so much for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you have any comments questions concerns anything like that leave it in the comment section down below i'm gonna link my best friend's profile in the description box and i'm also going to be um, linking my first video, which was a little bit of a Q&A. So if you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch it. I almost forgot, okay? Today's shout out goes to Marco Miyakosa. He is an amazing artist. I've been a fan for about, for, for about three or four years. I literally met him the day that I went to Russ's concert. After the concert, while we were waiting for him, he came up and said, hey, let me rap for you guys. And if you guys like it, you guys have to follow me. And we agreed. And he, he rapped for us and it was super freaking cool. It was super amazing. I'm gonna put a clip here and I'm gonna show you just what I'm talking about. Be giant like I am Odell. Keep it the throne, could you tell? Open the check of the mail. Satan is asking in my super cell. My clothes back when my soul ain't. I'd rather see the Lord than a roly holy. Rather be broke with the homies. They see my R cup in the Exactly. So I'm gonna link him down below in the description box. Give him a follow. And yeah. So 
that's it for sure now um thank you guys for watching love you and yeah bye